is Siobhan Reddy, I'm the studio director at Media Molecule and I'm here with the three guys who created levels for the launch of Little Big Planet 2, Blunty, Christian and Danny. Okay, hi. So what was going through your mind when you were, when you were designing those levels? Uh, I guess I wanted to take, sorry, I was <laughs> by my doing? little sack boy. Um, I wanted to uh, take something that I was like really passionate and had lots of uh, fun with in real life and then turn it into the video game form. And that's why I was so keen to take the, that Daft Punk concert yeah. and create a video game level out of it just because it was so fun in real life. So why wouldn't it be fun in video game land? Yeah, how about um, you? Yeah, me, for me, I had a real um, unique experience in hospital. Not so fun. <laughs> not, not a not fun so, experience. So fun, it, wasn't yeah. Yeah, it wasn't quite as fun, but it was a very, I mean, you know, I did kind of take the piss out of the situation and look, and take it very much in light um, given the harsh set of circumstances yeah. that I was under and I've done a whole bunch of other things like YouTube videos and different bits and pieces around making that light and having fun with it and I thought it was really cool that I could create a level in this video game where people could play it as this sort of little animated world and as a little sack creature make yeah. their way out of hospital yeah. and get right. past doctors and nurses that want to do tests on them. And it's one of the coolest things to actually see the personality and to see that you've all expressed something That's personal. One of the things I was excited about most coming here today and getting to play the other guys' levels because we've all got sort of ourselves in yeah. the level. Like, your yeah. level is very much you, and your levels are very much you, and my level is very much all about you know what I do every day. That's the progress of making videos and, and producing mm -hmm. entertainment. Mm -hmm. You're just seeing how you can convert real life situations and real life fun experiences or experiences in general and make them exist within this little big planet world. It's like, like what writers say, write about what you know. I believe for this game you can actually build your own mu tracks yep, of music, yep. so I'd love to play around with that and get some of like, oh, yeah, you convert some of my own music <laughs> into music that's on the level game. Exactly, and you can put your voice in as well, so you could actually have the fully sick rapper mm -hmm. rapping in LP2. Yeah, too. that'd be awesome, because I wanted awesome. to have little characters that'd be like the fully sick rapper telling Sackboy where to go and how to get out, and, yep. but like rapping it to him. Yeah, yeah, yeah awesome. so it, it all happens in rhyme life. And what would you think is your biggest achievement for your levels? What are you happiest with? Zombie. Zombie. <laughs> okay. um, For me, it was the look and feel of like quarantine. Yeah. And like being able to get photographs and have them in there. Yeah. And actual pictures from when I was in hospital. That, that was cool. That, that was, was cool. cool. That he had you know pictures of him from hospital in the hospital in the video game. How long did it take you to make them? Uh, I I worked on the the, the sort of sort of text based brief for mine for. Uh, maybe like a week, week and a half. Oh, wow. um, so I'm sort of running out of time to actually get the level built, sort of just swapping things out and trying to get sort of everything the way that I imagined it and trying to describe it properly so then we could build the level and it would be the way I imagined it. Mm -hmm. um, whereas when I'm playing at home uh, with it, uh, just messing about, I'm sort of experimenting more. So it's a very strange creative process to sort of get to the end point. Took me ten minutes. Ten minutes. <laughs> I had a piece of paper and a pen. I was like, and then this is gonna happen, and then this is gonna happen, and then you're gonna blow up here. And be like, wow, that was it. That was my we, we creative even, process. We weren't even finished having the first meeting about this. We were like, oh, can we break? I need to write something down. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I, I knew exactly how I wanted it to look, and it came out exactly how it was. Kind of, it was just it's amazing. One thing that terrifies me is that if that level can come out of this head. <laughs> There's thousands of other heads that are much more creative than me. They're going to be out there on the networks and the Little Big Planet 2 um, PlayStation kind of community, and they're going to be making some insane games. Building these worlds. They're going to be building planets. When the community make levels, you're dead right. The creative process is really unique, and we actually get to see people use what we've, um, the tools that we've created in ways that we had no idea that they would ever be used. The awesome thing too is you can do these mini games and stuff yeah. throughout it that we didn't really get the, the time to go into as well. Mm. They had all these ideas of like table hockey in the hospital room between different bugs and awesome. having like um, Space Invaders style shoot em games with um, different medications and tablets awesome. and taking tablets and throwing them into different bottles and you mixing things it. up. Sounds, so. That sounds great. Buzzing with, buzzing, buzzing with ideas already right, for, awesome. for future levels, and they're probably all going to be sort of, you know, revolving around uh, sort of similar sort of YouTube sort of techie thing because mm. tech's what I do. So. Yeah. How much inspiration did your online fan base give you? 
a lot, a lot. Actually. Yeah, you, you were you were really yeah, no, communicating I, with them. I, I, it was really funny because like one of the um, I, I was getting so many messages on it. People straight away said, "Oh, music festival, music festival." I'm like, of course I'm gonna have to do a music festival. Yeah. I, I love music festivals in my life. Yeah. And someone's like, "Oh, but you love zombies. You have to hide a zombie in there." And I'm like, "I will hide a zombie <laughs> in there." <laughs> you know. So yeah, a lot of the ideas were really helpful. So thanks, guys. I appreciate it. <laughs> yeah, same sort of experience here. I had. Uh, I put out sort of the question because I couldn't decide how to destroy the trolls. Couldn't make up my mind, so uh, I asked in a video and just hundreds of messages with all these ways to destroy trolls. Most of them involved fire, so I ended up settling on a pit of fire to throw them into. I didn't get too much feedback. Um, it was mainly about the song. Everyone's yeah. like, cool song, man. Yeah. I just made a song <laughs> and then um, just designed my level based around my hospital situation. Yeah. The song is pretty special, though. Oh, thank yeah. you. That's the first Tech Boy song we've. We've encountered. But not the last. But not the last, no. yeah. I actually will try to recreate the Sackboy song in, within yeah. my level. Oh, yeah. So that it becomes the background. Good. As long as yeah. you get that, the, the Sackboy dance in there. You can do yeah. that. Yeah, you, you can do, totally. The Sackboys can, can totally do, that. do that. Yeah. yeah. Use yeah. the scripting, use the cameras, and sort of recreate an entire music video. Yeah. 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 Oh. And I can repost that, like, use a program to record that and actually yeah. repost that. <laughs> Like that. Oh. <laughs> there we go. <laughs>